Are you a good sport? As much as I was last time, yes. So this isn't your first rapid fire interview? Absolutely not. Can I sail to feudal Japan? In your mind. Are there any major time skips in the story? Like 2,000 years to feudal Japan? <laughs> Not of that nature, no. Did you like doing the first one? I did enjoy it quite a bit, yes. I hope you can uh, do as good a job as uh, last time. Well, how do you think it's going so far? Mm, let's talk later. First things first, who's Phoenix? Phoenix is the hero of our game, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Who wins in a fight, Phoenix or Cassandra? The beginning of the game, uh, Cassandra for sure. At the end of the game, Phoenix for sure. What weapons does Phoenix use? Sword, axe, bow, wit, knowledge aroma, all sorts of things. Are these your ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill weapons? No, these are weapons of the gods. Wait a second, is Phoenix actually a god? Shh. No more questions. How many Greek gods are in the game? Six, seven, eight. What's the worst thing one of the Greek gods has done? I don't think we can talk about that. So there's no quick time events for it? No, not in this game. So are the gods the villains then? They're villains, but with good hearts and good guys, but with bad hearts. They're a bit of everything. So who is the villain? Well, Typhon is the person we want you to defeat, but uh, we'll leave it up to the viewers if they want to see a, a deeper meeting and uh, that everyone is a bit of a villain themselves. What does Typhon want? Perfection. Typhon wants to bring his perfection to the universe, which essentially means destroy everything and remake it. Seems like a pretty cool guy. Yeah, I'm sure you could grab a, grab a mead with him, but uh, he might try to kill you. Is this game funny or scary? It's scarily funny. What's the funniest joke in the game? Don't worry, we'll bleep it out. <laughs> Was it hard being funny? It's super easy. Oh boy, that makes me feel real bad. Play the game, learn a few things, and uh, we'll talk again in a couple years. How many rabbits are in the game? Zero. Does this take place in the Animus? There is no Animus. Could this have been an Assassin's Creed game? It's not. Are there any references to any other Ubisoft games in Immortals Phoenix Rising? There may be a few for some people that can find them, yes. It's the crew, isn't it? Yes. Which Greek god would make the best operator in Rainbow Six Siege? Aphrodite. Cause everyone to just love each other and uh, the siege is over. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. Do you make choices in this game? You will hopefully make the choice to buy the game. So you can do anything in this world, right? Yes. Anything you can imagine you can do in this world. In the game, we do have some limitations. Can you fly to feudal Japan? You can think about it. How long is Immortals Phoenix Rising? 20 to 30 hours and then 50 plus if you uh, keep doing uh, everything in the game. Is this game getting post-launch support? Absolutely. We will have a... Uh, Full DLC plan and lots of things for people to buy the season pass or people that, that don't buy the season pass. There's lots of things to do. Is it getting a battle royale? I want to make it. Did Angry Birds influence you? Uh, no. Is Phoenix an angry bird? Uh, no, she's a happy bird. Get it? Because Phoenix and... You're killing this uh, humor thing. I could have written for the game. <laughs> you should. Can you sail a ship? Me personally? No. Okay, good. That's what I was asking. I wasn't even worried about oh, the game right no, now. I mean, yeah. This, this is just you and me. I wanted to have a nice day out. Quebec uh, gets a little cold, so ships, not so much. Do weapons break in this game? Enemy weapons when you kill the enemies, yes, but the players, no. You ever hear of Breath of the Wild? I have heard of that. It's a pretty cool game. You should check it out sometime. Okay, cool. I will look it up. you have an update on your evaluation of how this is going? You're well on your way. What's your favorite Studio Ghibli movie? All of them. Why do pomegranates restore Phoenix's health? Because they restore my health, and I'm trying to recreate the, you know, the world in this game. What happened to gods and monsters? It became Immortals Phoenix Rising. Well, why this title? Because it's kick-ass. Can you give me one title you didn't choose? Gods and Monsters. Is Immortals the start of a new franchise? We certainly hope so. So what's your deal with Greece? It's the best. Did you consider other mythologies? No. What's the craziest Greek myth you learned while making this game? There's a great scene in the game where Prometheus is retelling to, uh, to Zeus how Aphrodite was born, and uh, that's a really interesting one. Are you sick of Greek mythology yet? Be honest. No, uh, Greek mythology is actually is, is super cool, and it's awesome to see all the connections it has to modern day. Do you fight Achilles in the game? Absolutely, you do. He seems pretty invincible, right? No weak points? The humor is, uh, it's, uh, it's going up. All right, but for real, does his weak spot glow red? No, but if you shoot him in the ankle, it will hurt him, for sure. How many vaults of Tartarus are there? Roughly 60. All right, so I need to know if the following characters are in the game. Can you help me out? I will try. Marcus Phoenix. No. Joaquin Phoenix. And the game is funny, so in a way. Dark Phoenix. No. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. It's a secret level. Raising Arizona. Mm, there's no babies in this game. What does the next gen version do better than the current gen version? It's the next version. If you couldn't come up with a good way to end this interview, would you run, climb, or fly out of frame? I would click the leave button right here, the big red button. All right, well, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>